Hi, I'm John. I'm an engineer by trade and also an expert in fitness machines. Uh, we've got here a treadmill and I'm going to show you how to lubricate the running belt. In my opinion, lubricating the running belt is the number one thing, the number one thing that you can do to look after your treadmill. You have to do this. And it's dead easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do it. So lubricating the treadmill belt, it involves putting a lubricant underneath the running belt. Use my screwdriver to get under there. So underneath this area where my hand has just gone, that's where the lube's going to go. You might be tempted to use a grease or WD-40. Please don't. Uh, these are not lubricants for treadmill running belts. So get rid of those. What you need to be using is silicon oil. There's a couple of examples there, or a wax. Uh, the wax, in my opinion, is not quite as good, um, but there are some treadmills on the market um, that insist, or some manufacturers that insist that you use wax. So refer to your manufacturer's instructions if you're not sure. Uh, but generally speaking, it's the silicon oil which is the most popular and it's the best. So we'll put the wax to one side and I'll show you how to use uh, the silicon oil. So there's two bottle sizes here. Uh, with your machine, you'll usually get a little bottle or a little tube of uh, silicon oil. And my recommendation is, is to put all of the oil on that comes with the machine, um, especially when it's new. So to do that, you lift the side of the belt. You notice I'm using a screwdriver just to uh, just allow me to get good access. And I'll, I've opened up the screw cap and just slide the bottle underneath, give it a squirt, move it around a little bit and withdraw it. And what we're trying to do is get all of the silicon oil into this area of the running belt. This is where your feet go into this area here. So this is the part of the belt and the system that gets all the work uh, and takes all the pounding. So this is the area where you need to get your lubricant. So when you first get your machine, put all of the lubricant on, primarily put it into this area here. And as soon as you've put it on, walk the belt in. So Stand on the machine, switch it on at three or four kilometers an hour, and then with your feet, just walk that lubricant in. And it will naturally spread around the belt there, so you don't need to worry about getting the lubricant everywhere because just the process of walking it in with your feet um, will spread it around for you. So that'll take care of the system for the first three to four months. It depends on how much you use the machine and how thick the belt is. Uh, but periodically, you need to re redo this. And the way to check whether you need to do it is, again, lift the side of the belt, if you can't get it open with your fingers, just insert a little screwdriver, get the edge up, pop that under, nice good access, feel under there, and you should feel the residue of the oil. It should feel slippy under your fingers and kind of greasy under there. And if it is, then it's just a case of topping it up. So, uh, for example, you could, you could use this kit here. This is a 500 milliliter bottle of lube that comes with a syringe. And I'll show you how this works. It's nice and easy to do. The tube goes on the end of the syringe like that. And then the advantage of the syringe is you can put a measured amount on. So if you've already lubricated the belt when it was new, then when you're going to reapply the lubricant, all you need to do put, is put maybe three or four of these syringes on, which is going to equate to around 15 to 20 milliliters. And you put it in the same place in the center of the belt. So that's five milliliters, 10 milliliters, and finally 15. There we go. And then again, I'll walk it in. So I'll stand on the machine, set it going to three or four kilometers an hour, and with my feet, just spread that lubricant around and maybe walk it in for two or three minutes and then check it again. And to check it again, screwdriver under, feel under there, and you should feel the greasy, slippy residue of the silicon oil. If you think it's a little bit dry and you think, I mean, sometimes the running belts will just absorb all that oil straight away, in which case you'll feel under there and you thought, oh, well, where did it go? Um, just pop a little bit more, another two or three squirts, um, and that should do the trick. You'd probably need to put more on if you've just had a brand new running belt fitted. Let's say, for example, your machine's five or six years old and you've, you've decided to invest in a new running belt and that's been fitted. Um, 
the chances are that belt will be dry, in which case you might need to put, uh, again, another six or eight squirts on um, using the five milliliter syringe to get the right dosage. So um, just put enough on until you can feel that residue. And as long as it's there, you know you're good to go. And the reason is, is that it keeps the friction between the underside of the belt and the platform nice and low, which reduces the amount of wear on your motor and your controller. And those are really expensive parts. If you have a motor or a controller fail, that can be four, five, six hundred pounds easily, even on a domestic machine. And it's much more expensive on a commercial machine. So it's a little thing you can do. The silicon oil is nice and cheap. You only need to do it every three to four months. Um, but if you don't, you could be in for a big bill. So. Top tip, use it, do it.